What's good, y'all? What's going on? It's Corner Sports Net. Do not forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Let's talk about the Yankees. My Yankees. Now that the Yankees season is over, after they blew a 5-0 lead in the fifth inning by committing three errors of playing like the Bad News Bears, Aaron Judge drops a routine fly ball. Then you got Cole, the pitcher, not covering first base. Then you got Volpe throwing the ball to third base, but the throw was the throw wasn't accurate. That led to five runs, five runs, just like that. I mean, you talk about bad news bears. Yankees could not play fundamental baseball in that fifth inning. Like they froze up. Then blowing a lead in the eighth inning when it was up 6-5 by not playing sound baseball, good fundamental baseball. Now they turn their attention trying to re-sign Juan Soto. Now Juan Soto said the Yankees do not have an advantage to sign him. They don't have an edge. Look, man, I'm not making this up. This is what he just, he said after the baseball game. After they lost the World Series. Look, that's Scott Boris talking. All that is is Scott Boris talking. Look, Juan Soto is 26 years old. In the prime of his baseball powers. Probably going to get around $600 million. And Juan Soto probably knows nothing about finance, so I understand that. He wants to stick to playing baseball and let the professionals handle it. But, bruh, giving somebody $25 million of your money? Nah. I'm not giving no agent 4% of $600 million. What is that, $20 million? $24 million? I mean, Boris is not the star here. Juan Soto is the star here. I mean, when you're a superstar, you don't need nobody... Really, you just need a sports lawyer. When you're Juan Soto, you don't need no agent. You don't. A sports attorney to read over your contract. You sit with teams, see what the best deal is, see where you want to live for the next five to ten years, and make a decision. It's not that hard. I get he's 26 years old, but I'm not paying nobody $24 million dollars to negotiate a contract with me. It's not happening. To read the fine print to tell me that this team's gonna give me $600 million? All the teams are gonna be whining and dining them and throwing crazy numbers at them. I mean, Juan Soto don't have no family member that's in his area to be like, look, why are you giving this man $25 million or $30 million to negotiate your contract when you're the star? You can get somebody cheaper to negotiate a great deal for you. You can get a sports lawyer to read the fine print. You could do a lot of this on your own. I'm not, look, Boris is great. He's great at his job, but I'm not giving nobody $25 million or $30 million or $20 million to negotiate a contract for me. You crazy? I'm the star. Not you. Uh, Boris also represents Pete Alonso. So Boris is going to make a lot of money this offseason. Shout out to Lamar Jackson for coming out of college negotiating his own contract with him and his mother. And he's still negotiating his own contract. No college degree, none of that. And they just negotiated a $250 million contract. And football is way more difficult than baseball. Because baseball, you could damn ask for anything and get it if you're an elite and a superstar. It's much easier to negotiate your contract in baseball. I'm just saying, I, I wouldn't go for it. No way I'm giving you that kind of money. And congratulations to the Dodgers for winning the World Series. And congratulations to the Dodgers. They were the better team.